Hello and welcome to a course overview for English 104A Research Writing. I am your instructor, Mrs. Claire Barker. Um, this is the first in a series of videos to support our course curriculum and aid you in successfully completing the course. Our student learning outcomes are available here, but I want to focus on the value of each one and as a unit. So as we move through this course, we're going to practice each of these skills that are listed. Um, each session, we're going to focus on a particular set of skills, such as an outline, um, but these skills do not exist in a vacuum. They build upon one another, and each one increases in strength when it is used in tandem with the others. So our ultimate goal through each of these student learning outcomes um, is to produce strong, capable writers who are confident that they have the skills and tools that they need to approach any written assignment. Assignments are projects that contribute to these goals. I want each of you to see that the assignments are carefully chosen to build upon one another. Each assignment aims to increase a set of skills. So while we will always be considering elements like content and formatting and references, we focus on partic particular aspects to increase our understanding. So for instance, a discussion board is partly about your exploration of the concepts and the content and the questions, but it's also partly about seeing how your peers are responding to those same questions. It's about growth for each individual. So each individual assignment is increasing that also. It's not about being busy, but it's about preparing you to best communicate your ideas, your emotions, and your understanding of particular topics. Grading is the same idea. It's an opportunity to discuss. I expect you to ask questions. I expect you to enter into a dialogue. Um, my edits and comments are not um, to be seen as set in stone or the only way to approach any particular topic. They are about starting that conversation. So you share your assignment with me, I share comments with you, and you return that assignment with more questions and more ideas. Um, as a team, we're going to find the best ways to express your voice. Communicate. So communicate with me. Whatever is happening with you, whatever keeps you from working on an assignment, if an assignment is taking too long, um, there are set times that you should be looking at. If you start to spend more than two or three hours at a time on one particular aspect, I want you to reach out to me. I want you to ask questions and get support. Um, my office hours may not be convenient, so you need to reach out and ask for a separate time. If you want to meet with me, send me an email saying, hey, I can't make that time. These are some other times that I am available. And don't forget to include your time zone because that can vary. Um, in the event that something prevents me from completing my part of each assignment on time, the grading or comments or discussion, then I too will email you and let you know what's going on with me. I will communicate on my end. Feedback and grading. Um, when I comment on particular issues, I'm not going to comment on every single time that that issue arises. So for instance, if you are struggling with comma splices or citations, I'm not going to comment on every single one. I'm going to make a note of it in one or two places. I'm going to provide details on how to tackle it. So website links, APA pages that you should look at, some examples on how to do it well. And then I expect you to go through your entire work and find similar instances. You may say, well, why can't you just correct all of them? Well, there are lots of ways to correct things in writing. There are lots of ways to be right. Um, if I corrected each one of them, I would correct it the way I like to do it, the way I approach writing. But I don't want you to be mini me's. I want you to be your best self. And that means that you need to see what the problem is, and then you need to find the best solution that is the best way to present your voice your identity, and how you want to share information. If I comment directly on your paper, look for an email from me because these do not always show up when I put them into the box element within um, our Blackboard system. So if I have made specific comments, I will make a note in the grading comments that I'm sending you a copy. Another part of this is that, again, it's a conversation. It's not about me saying, do this, do that, do that. It's about a conversation where we discuss how writing works and how you can best improve um, your approaches and your ideas and your voice. Um, remember that it is part of that conversation, that you need to interact, that you need to ask questions, um, that if I am not clear or understandable, that you should not take that as your fault or your problem. You should put it where it belongs with me. You should say, I don't understand that. I don't know what you're doing with that so that I can clarify and support you. 
Um, if my feedback is surprising in any way, look for specific comments. I may say that the wrong document was uploaded. Um, if I put in a rather random grade of a very low one, like a three or a five, that is an indicator for me that I need to check that grade before I submit final grades. I do not like grades like that to stand. So if it's a zero, then it's simply a grade that hasn't been put in. Um, but if it is something like a five or a seven, um, look for that to be altered and edited. Look for questions from me. Um, also, if you have submitted several works at once, um, I only comment on one of them. So if you do not see comments, you need to look for that. You need to say, where are they? Because they are somewhere in the system. Always look at things like our announcements. I try to email them, but they are also a great way to head into our course. Go to the dashboard and look for specifics to help you with any assignment. Um, discussion threads, please try to post directly to them given the opportunity. In session four and five, that's not exactly how we're going to do them, but for sessions one through three and when possible, post directly to that board to connect with everyone. Remember that you are utilizing course material and that you are interacting with the information yourself, but you are also interacting with how your peers have processed and responded to that information. APA formatting. I made a separate video about this, so go to our YouTube channel and look for that. Um, formatting styles are important. They are valuable. They are about clear communication. Um, your company will always have these, a specific formatting style or approach, so you need to know um, what is expected of you wherever you work. Look for how your company is doing that. Look for how each class is doing that. Look for slight changes that happen between um, formatting styles and between different groups as they utilize these styles. These are not about being picky and annoying, but about giving us clear ways to communicate with one another. These are some of the links that you will often find me providing. Um, I often direct you to the Purdue OWL, the Purdue University Online Writing Laboratory. They have lots of great exercises, not just examples, but opportunities for you to practice things with sentences and verbs. So look for those clicks and pursue them and find out more. Um, common issues often relate to things like causation versus correlation and logical fallacies. So I also give you some of my favorite websites for those here. Um, do a quick Google of causation versus correlation with Freakonomics and you'll get a wonderful little video about ice cream and polio and how those two aren't quite connected the way we thought. Um, I do have some excluded paper topics. I encourage you to avoid these ideas because they are very well suited to reports. We are not writing a report. We are writing an academic paper. We are going to make an argument. We are going to have a stance. Um, these lend themselves to what I call doctor's office pamphlets. We need those. They occupy a specific place for a specific purpose, um, but that's not the purpose that we are seeking to achieve in this course. Um, so please consider avoiding them because I don't want to increase the level of difficulty. Um, so look at avoiding them if you have picked one. So I hope that you will look through all of our course videos um, and see what will help you and realize that I am always here for you to ask questions of.